So victory your first year as a head coach here in the ECC championship. Now you're back on top of the mountain. First of all, talk about the game. Was it a little tougher than what you expected? Absolutely, but I mean, I didn't expect any less. You go through the the matchups with me and Coach Cornish back to when he was the JV coach at New London and I was the JV coach at NFA. We played some crazy games. I'm telling you, ask them. And I expected nothing less. I kept telling these guys, they did too. They, they had a lot of respect for Ledyard. They said they're a much different team. Um, we just couldn't get our offense going. Um, and then we decided to use the seventh defense. And this guy, yeah. Mr. Pierre-Louis. Yeah, well, that was, that was my next question. Juice, did you guys make an effort to take the ball out of Jabari Jones' half yeah, in the we, second half? Yeah, we, we, we said we got an athlete by the name of Pierre-Louis and uh, he's gonna just chase him around <laughs> for the rest of the game because Jabari just got off to a great start. Yeah, a couple of athletes out there, tournament MVP, Mason Jackson, back-to-back, 26-point -back, games. So when, you, when you're off to a slow start, what gets you ticking on the offensive end down the stretch of a game like this? Well, everyone always tells me to crash the boards because that's easy points, so I go in there, crash the boards, and then once I start feeling good, get my rhythm, I'll go to the mid-range, and then if I'm feeling great, I'll pop out the three, but I'm really trying to get in the paint. In the paint and your defense in the second half. Coach, talk about Mason Jackson and the rest of the team. You guys extended the defensive pressure past half court. Did you notice a difference in that Ledger team after that? Yeah, I, I, I was telling them in the locker room that we got to play defense and get rebounds. And if we get stops, we're going to win the game. I know we got one of the best defenses in the state, so we got to put it to use. And we got did that and got the dub. A lot of good moving pieces out there for you this year, Chris. Um, obviously, undefeated regular season, undefeated through the ECC tournament. I got a feeling, though, the work's not done yet for the Wildcat team, is it? No, we got a lot left. We've been saying it from day one. We have big dreams this year. This is the team. This is the team. We got the point guard in, in Xavier Marquez. We got the big wingman in, in Mason. We got inside pieces with Max and Connor. We got the shooting guards in Jared, Nolan, and Blaze. And, and we got a bunch of guys on the bench that just want to do their role and make us better and practice every day. This is our chance and we get a day off tomorrow, and then we come back Thursday and we focus on the next one. I want to ask all the guys, you had 365 days to think about that loss to Waterford last year in this court. How does this one feel? Let's hear it. It feels great. 